Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, this is Ania. Just a quick word in Polish. Ten film jest po angielsku po to, żeby pokazać polską muzykę reszcie świata, ale polskie napisy znajdziecie w ustawieniach tego okna. All the songs I've chosen for today are some of the most popular Polish songs right now on Spotify, YouTube or on the radio. Let me know which other Polish songs you'd like to see our foreigners react to next time and don't forget to subscribe. Hi guys, I haven't seen you forever. It's so nice to see you. Oh yes, my name is Eric. Eric Foley, I'm a French citizen living in Poland, staying in Poland because it's quite good and, and I've been living here for the last 19 years now. Yeah, that's me. Singer, obviously today I will not sing, but I will listen to some music, I'm sure of it. Hello everybody, my name is Hermes. I'm from Colombia, from a city called Cincelejo in the Caribbean coast. I've been living in Warsaw already eight years since I came in 2000, well, since 2016, but let's say officially in 2017, I started my master's degree at the University of Warsaw and ever since I've been living here in this lovely city. Welcome to GQ, huh? Thank you for having me. Hi. Thank you for having us. Hello. I am Javid from Texas in the US. Yeah, my name is Wes. Uh, I'm Chinese American from Los Angeles, from the YouTube channel Words Wes, and maybe you guys have seen my videos. My name is Andrew. I'm from San Francisco, California. Today, I'm going to show you some popular Polish songs. I'd like you to tell me your opinion about them and give them either a thumbs up or thumbs down. I know that you know a lot about Polish music, right, Wes? Mm -hmm. Are you up to date with Polish music? I think so. Ooh. Let's <laughs> list, yes. I'll pretend like it's the first time. No, you don't have no, to. No, I don't have to. No. <laughs> I normally don't listen to this music. I've never done this before. <laughs> Okay. Cinematography is fire, man. It's really nice. Yeah. Man, the cinematography is fire, bro. Yeah, it's so I like good. I like it, yeah. yeah. That bass line is really good too. Mm. Mm. Damn, this voice tell me something, but I don't remember. Like Stelly Disc. Oh, the mouth is moving. Yeah. That's wild. Is it Mroz? Mrozu. Mrozu, right, Mroz. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. Oh, no. Damn, I was I like... I guess this is the last uh, Mesque Granny song, right? Yeah, I saw the video, I remember it. Yeah. Cosmos to ma sufit. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. The colors are freaking phenomenal, Yeah, man. the color grading's good, it's yeah. super good. Tak jak by nie było. This feels like the most random video. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. It's like the Polish Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Nasza Warszawa. Tak jak by nie było jutra. Tak jak. Tak jak. That's the jam. That's the summer jam right there. <laughs> it feels like it. Yeah, it's cool. No, I like it. Have Mrozu, you heard it yeah, before? I know it. Yes, I Sorry? heard it before. I'm not sure actually if I heard it, but um, Rosu, yeah, I know this uh, the group, you know, I kind of like it. You know. And I know that you have reacted to some of the songs for not this one. Menski Granje. I yes. saw that, yeah. Mm -hmm. What? But have you seen it before? No, it's my first time. And have you listened to it before? No, no, no. no. Ooh, so it's going to be your raw reaction. Yes. Not available on your channel yet. He's good at <laughs> it, yeah, right? He's good at making it convincing that he's never heard this before. I've, I've yeah, never, right. Yeah. I've never done this before. <laughs> so, Hermes, have you heard it before? I have heard it before. So, do you know anything about Menski Granje? Well, I know that it's kind of a festival that is done every year, and every year there is like a main song of the festival that is made by known artists. Exactly. So, yeah, this is this year's. This year's? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Menski Granje is like a beer. Um, 
Żywiec is a beer company. It's a beer company. But they organize the... Yeah, so they organize a group of Polish musicians, and they usually will create a whole entire album together, correct? So it's like a yearly thing. That's cool. I mean, it's more like every year they... Because what happens first is that first they release the song, which is kind of like the anthem of the year. Mm. Then they have those concerts, because it's a the whole festival that they travel to many different cities, and that's what you see here in this video, that they go from, like, through the mm. whole country. Wow. And uh, at the end of the whole tour, they release the album with the songs that they performed during this whole mm. festival. Okay, yeah. It's a cool concept. It's yeah, very cool. Yeah. 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 It's very nice, actually, this song. I don't know the song. What's the name of the song? The name of the song is Wolne Duch. And it, the free spirit, then. Free spirit. Okay, cool. No, it's very nice. Tak jak. Tak jakby nie było jutra. As if there was no tomorrow. Damn. Beautiful. It's like, you know, give you feeling like to, to dance to it. You will dance it. And uh, the music videos have always been fire. This one has been a little weirder than the other ones. But uh, the 2021 is the most popular one, right? Um, or is it 2018? The one with Pochontek where they go through the like a studio kind of place. That's yes, so yeah, yes. that's the one, and I think that's the best. That is the most popular one. It has like 150 million views. <laughs> You gotta watch that. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I reacted yeah. to it on my channel. It has the most views on my channel for a reaction video. It is a great song, honestly. Good. It's a fantastic song. So, would you give it thumbs up or thumbs down? Well, I would say thumbs up, but I wouldn't say, oh, it catched me. I mean, for example, the last year, it was the last year when we had Super Moths, Yeah. Oh, that really catched me. Like, oh my God, I love this song, and I was playing it once again and once again and once again. Super I remember Pochontek. So these are my two favorites I will say from Mesky Grani. So this one I will say is good, but it did not catch me. I'll give a thumbs up. Yeah. I liked yeah. it a lot. <laughs> what did you like about it? Just the beat and the vibes, like you said. You could feel like the summer vibes, like, you know, even though I didn't understand the lyrics. And then like he said, the videography was crazy. Cool. Yeah. But do you ever listen to those artists separately? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't listen that much police songs. <laughs> I should be there's so many things to hear. I know that anyway, anything that will be good in Poland, I will it will catch my ear one day uh, sooner or later. So this like this like this one actually. Okay, yeah, these songs are really good. I will also recommend uh David's uh Potsiavo. Yeah. Let's say from the artist that played in Mesque Grande, I will say I've been listening the most to David Pochadwo. He, he uh, yeah. And also because in the gaming world, he is one of the of the singers who's making the music for Cyberpunk 2077, and also for the series that it that it was uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Let You Down, that is a song sang by Pochado. Forgive me for letting you down again. For me, it's a piece of art. He has this uh, song called like Home. Uh, it's Mas start to the M. Mało miasteczkowe. That one was really good. I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Polish people care about lyrics a lot, yeah. so their music is very deep. It's a lot of rock and rap based, but Polish music is, the mm -hmm. culture is amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I know this one. All right. It's like John Wick. It's my vibe right here. Supercars. It's going to be a hip hop song. Fast and Furious. Pocet na mi przestrzeń, chodzę, rodzę nowy plan, bit, dobry pas, autostrada, No, actually, I don't know it. Kilometry tras, być niczym tak, padać teren, gdzie się da, po prostu lubię gdzieś na prostej poukładać parę spraw. Man, production is fire, it's so good. Budzi mnie do życia ryk, przez to ktoś nie może spać, ej, prowadzę życie jak mą wymarzoną furę. Kind of reminds me of Sean Paul. A little bit of that voice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Gan. Shanapal. Shanapal. It reminds me I have to. Musisz się mówić na przegląd. Samo. Nigdy więcej, proszę nigdy więcej. Nie stawiaj na drodze tych skazanych na dezercję. I pod przed nami. Nie pomieszczę więcej. Zmieniam bieg historii, gdy na życiowym zakręcie parę spraw. Like Warsaw drift up in here. It's the guy from Fast and Furious, actually. Hey! hey. Hi! Hey. Hey. That's why she showed it to us. Yeah. <laughs> that was dope. So what are your thoughts about this kind of song? I'm a big car guy, so... Win. 
And the music was good. I like rap music, so. Well, not, not, not about the sound, but I live in Warsaw, and I'm so annoyed by these people that are, like, racing in the streets, like, going to, to stop 100 meters after because there is a light. It's drum and bassy. Yeah, yeah, very. So that that's what's common about a lot of Polish rap. It's not, like, traditional trap that we know back in the U.S. It's a lot of electronic, like you said, drum and bass mm. kind of thing. I thought the production was real, was fire. I, I like on the video also okay, that they show like okay there is a stadium where you can actually do this stuff and people want to see it, but like the streets of Warsaw are not for for that thing. Well, Polish is interesting because when you, it's sung, it's not that pleasant, but when it's in rap, it's really nice because the consonants make for like a nice rhythm. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I saw this uh, Asian beatboxer. He's like everything in Polish sounds like you're beatboxing, and he like goes to a grocery store and he like oh, picks yeah. a random thing. And he's like. Polish is like beatbox. Check it out. You know, I enjoyed the the rhythm of it. Like you know, tun tun to clint in drum and bass and stuff. Like you know, three pop. You know, it's very cool. I was more focused, you know, because you now this is more like a Fast and Furious uh, environment. So there is the video clip with this. So it keep you focused and you are like you know bobbing your head on on, on the rhythm. Thumbs up, thumbs down, right? Eh? Yeah. Cool. All thumbs up. All thumbs up. Yeah. I'm really torn actually. I don't know. Like, you know, I will say I'm more like, you know, equal. Like, you know, it's not bad. It's not good. It's something that I will listen, yes, because there were some visual stuff and everything. Yeah. But the... nothing like, you know, not, like, oh, oh my God. Or nothing like, you know, oh no, it's bad. No, it's like, you know, they will say somewhere in the middle. I'll give it an eight for the music. Music video, 7.5. It's a little flipped. But very good. I like the cars. Yeah. I think I thought the music video was boring. I was just cars. But uh, the production was a 10. I think the raps, I wish they were a little more aggressive coming in on the first verse. It took a little to like get to it. But I would give it an 8 out of 10 overall. Damn, dude. That's some specificity over here. <laughs> that's, that's how I do my videos. Because, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I like that. So what about thumbs up, thumbs down? Well... I'm kind of the same page, on the same page, like... I, I, I try, I try, but you know, you see something's happening, like, you know, Avaria, Avaria. <laughs> I mean, the, the, I, I know there's people who like this kind no, of no, music that is also make, maybe something of my of my taste, but it did not catch me. I will say it's not good, it's not bad, it mm. just did not catch me. Video, yeah, there was like no development or anything, it was just more of the same stuff. I'm like, where is this going? Is this a Fast and the Furious promo, or is there like a car logo that's going to come up at the end? Cool production, though, for sure. So overall, yeah, maybe like seven. But I will put some up for the, the teledisc, like, you know, you catch you. you know, oh, yeah, well, there was like some work like, in there, in fact, yes. Yeah. Yeah. House music with that video, 10 out of 10. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> music makes everything. <laughs> That's <West> studio. <laughs> Shum. Okay. Okay, I like how <laughs> it starts. Total Wes Anderson inspired. It's. Mm. Mm, that guitar lick was nice. Mm. Yeah. She has a beautiful voice. Uh, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> no shoom. Nice. Nice. Kashka. Okay, it's a band. I don't know this band. I like Les Waff. Yeah, what do you guys think? It was, uh, I'm getting killer, the killer vibes. The killers. Nice, nice, nice. No, I like it uh, big time. You know, I would say, I would not hide. I would say thumbs up already. Thumbs up. After too. five seconds in the beginning, I knew that I would like that song. <laughs> I also had that sensation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, because there's a lot of melody coming. And uh, it's a little more, not depressing, but... 
I felt a little sad. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. For me, music is the most important. It's not the style, it's the, the notes. That here is like something that, you know, give you some feelings and emotion. You have this after five seconds. When you hear the first things, like, you know, oh, something's going to happen. And there's a melody coming, harmony and everything. The girl have a very beautiful voice. It's something very smooth. It was super chill. I, it was like a very calming song. I liked the, uh, the woman's voice. It's not like my go-to genre, but I, I liked it. I think I'd probably rate that song eight, eight and a half. Yeah. First time I hear it, I wanted to sing with her like, the yeah, whatever, like, you know, whatever she's singing, like, it gives you this feeling. So it's very nice. What's the name of the group? Uh, this is actually uh, the name of the singer, Kaska Sohatska. Kaska Sohatska. Uh, the song is Shum. Okay. Yes. Ah, the song is Shum. Shum, okay. Shum. Yeah, it was like very pleasant in the in the videography was pretty cool too yeah there was like more going on than like the race car stuff too you know <laughs> yeah. yeah interesting yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah very efficient the video clip also like it was, know, was nice I, I like the aesthetical decisions they did with the video clip i agree with them the song wise i think it was like an 8.5 her voice and then it sounded full it was the same chords the whole song but it didn't get that boring i think the the music video was it started off strong it had a good idea And it felt like they recorded only 10 clips and they're like, how do we make this into a long music video? And they just clip <laughs> the same same shots the whole entire time. So I thought the music video was quite boring, but music wise, I thought it was excellent. She has a great voice. There's something very melancholic about this song. I don't know, like, you know, it catch me, like, you know, in the beginning I wanted, like, you know, and you it comes you and you are off focus, like, you know. And after it's like, this is very nice. Uh, I like it. It gave me vibes like Summer Wine a bit, this famous song. When I was listening to the band, I was kind of remi reminiscent of the Bad Dreamers. That is also a band that I like. So is it thumbs up or thumbs down for you guys? Yeah, I like it, but... I would listen to it, Lower just a song, but the right. video is a thumbs down. But the song yeah. is a thumbs up. Yeah. It'd be funny if we give like really great ratings. It's like, yeah, eight, eight. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, not my go-to. Like, I like it. It was, it was catchy. It was beautiful. I like it. I like the. We say that it's polished. The song, like, it's with good detail. No, it's good. Like, come on, like, she has very smooth uh, voice. Like, you know, she's not yelling. She's actually singing. That's you know, me. It's always a win-win when I hear people singing. Not yet. Ah! Oh, calmate. It's um, Ocharu Yonce. Charming. It's charming, like you know. Yes, yeah, true. Like you know, mm -hmm. sweet way, but it's getting to you. I like it. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up definitely. And the artist's name is Kashka Sohatska. Can you try to say Kashka it? Kohatska. Kashka Kohatska. Kashka Kohatska. Say it again. Kashka Kohatska. It's just gonna get worse. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. <laughs> This is the kind of music I will hear at home, or I will hear even while working at the office. Like, oh, you can hear it there, walking at home, driving. <laughs> uh, no, it's true. Yeah, but yeah, it's kind it's of true. this. It's a very nice song. Music that fits good in, in this kind of atmospheric stuff. Cooking. This is not a way to sit in a car. It's not safe. And it's a taxi? Come on, I will get you out. <laughs> oh, I, I've heard this yeah. one. Yeah. I think you're about to say, oh, I like it already. You see the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is Andrew's favorite. <laughs> oh, I've heard this. Tell me, baby, what you want. This is actually the first reaction video I ever made. I never posted it. But this was the, uh, yeah, first oh, one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Tell me, baby, what you want. It was like your date from yesterday. <laughs> She actually played this song for me yesterday. Really? Yeah. Shut up, no I way. I swear, I was like, <laughs> I heard this yesterday. It's wild. My mom in the last she the romantic. Oh, plot twist. Twins. <laughs> so the message is run away from the girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she chased it. <laughs> There were some good ideas. I liked uh, the fact that they had some uh, like uh, like cartoon stuff. Ah, yeah. you know, and that, that, was, that cool. was a good idea. Okay, I give it the song a seven. The music video, probably a seven as well. It's a fun, you know, like the party scenes. It's kind of a fun little glimpse into like Polish party scene and like good times and you know, 
almost a summer jam a little bit. So I, li I like it. You know, it's very difficult actually, you know, for me to giving thumbs down because, you know, I think that every artist has their way, vision or everything. And all the tests are in the nature. Maybe it doesn't suit me, but for somebody else, it will be, oh, wow, it's the song of the year. But I will give one thumb uh, down because he used uh, this auto-tune. It's making everybody the same. Of course, it's part of the new generation tools, but you know, that they, they will use it like you to give a chance to your real voice. Be who you are. It was interesting. It makes me like wonder how much American influence has on uh, one, not only uh, Polish music, but like global music, because there's like totally. kind of that young Eminem style, like the haircut, wife beater, blonde hair, mm. Paris Hilton, or MGK, Machine Gun Kelly, with like, you know, the lipsticks on, on the mirror, yeah. you know, the pink hot suit. And yeah. like, I would argue that uh, America actually stole that from Eastern Europe, because that's a typical Eastern European like look, look and fashion, mm. yeah. I would agree. Mainly with Eddie, but I guess that also will depend on the on the music genre. Because, for example, when you think in autotune and you think in Daft Punk, for example, because songs as Digital Love or like um, even Get Lucky, when they make this kind of robotic voices or just this voice, like sounds like like emotionless, but it's because it's driving that way, like there is some work yeah, behind it. This difference because no, it's effect, quite different. In fact, with the effect in this moment, a fragment. But when the guy is singing, oh, no, 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 I, I you guess, hear it, the auto tune. It's like, you know, no, I, I guess from the beginning. It, 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 it's a thing of taste, I will say yes. Uh, but, I, but okay, I was mentioning that one to say, well, not always is bad because also cheer. Do you believe in life after love? That's also. Yeah. Auto tune yeah. and it's very famous and she's an amazing singer. The song was catchy and probably the more interesting music videos. I'd probably give it like seven and a half, seven for the song. And then music videos more interesting than the rest. So probably like seven and a half. Uh, but it was cool. It was like, you know, I'm sure that's a phase of life that most people can relate with mm. as well. Like, you know, the teen angst or like, you know, going out, dating, having issues with it, seeing someone that you like with someone else, like the whole dynamic of it. What I have talking with a friend and he kind of convinced me about is like, but they do not want to sing. They want to make music. And for me, it was kind of confusing. And they said, yeah, because this is like their aesthetic. Their aesthetic, the voice sounds like that. And I was like, okay. Let's accept that and let's look at the other things just accepting that. Maybe it's not what Derek or, or I will love the most, but let, let's try, okay, this is the way it works. Yeah, so this is the first song I ever reacted to, and when I first reacted to it, I also gave it a seven. But now that I know a lot of Polish music and how good Polish music can get, I think this is actually like a five. The beat doesn't change at all. It's the same beat the whole way through, so it's, it's very boring. The rap doesn't change at all. It's the same melody the whole way through. It's very boring. And the music video is quite generic, so yeah. it's a five music video and it's a five song for me. Even though I know it's very popular, right? It, it has a ton of views right now. Yeah, it has uh, five. It's a song from two months ago only, but it has yeah over five million views. And when it comes to the music itself, out of the auto tune, <laughs> thinking that we already mentioned, uh, I guess I enjoy it. I enjoy like the percussion, a bit this vibe, like like in between electric, between rapping, but not this kind of rap I don't like. Yeah, I, I would say it's kind of cool. It's something I will listen to chilly. Also, I like the video. Like it, it was fun, as you say. With it the was funny. It was like a fun. Like let's say like you know, like this is more like say to uh, maybe a very younger uh, audience mm. because uh, the lyrics, uh, the video, and everything. Yeah, you're let's say it's not very ambitious. Like you know, they, they want to try to develop very uh, yeah, because serious both of you speak. Very good Polish, I'd like to mention. Viewers might not know that, but you understand what they're saying. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So that's why, you know, I was like, you know, okay, uh, you no, know, it's Martin and everything. It's cool, it's cool, like, you know. So, yeah, is it thumbs up or thumbs down for, for you? For me, guys? it's a thumbs up. You know, I will have to give some down. So, here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. That is only my opinion, guys. If you like it, keep yeah, liking keep... it. Don't care about what I'm saying, you know, it's only a uh, yeah, price story. <laughs> Talking about snacks. What's up? Snacks. Snacks. I don't think. <laughs> Snack is snow. Mm. Mm. Close, close, yeah. Nice. Can't you tell from the video? <laughs> <laughs> guys know what I mean like Polish the just the consonants and everything it's very hard to sing it back right <laughs> yeah I keep hearing snacks <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Pijak na teledisk. <laughs> Sorry? Super beautiful music video. Okay. I'll give it a six on the music and uh, the video, just because it's not my style. It's not a bad song. Uh, I like it. It's very synth pop ish. And this actually was kind of uh, ambiguous because with all the colors, with all the fruits, it looks very, I would say, like positive, like charming, like happy. But then when you listen to the lyrics, oh, we were together, you are not here to kiss me or hug me and stuff. It's like, okay, you feel that melancholy in the middle of the vibe. And I guess that that is a nice blend. Would also give it a six. Uh, I think her vibe is cool. It's like this kind of angely fairy kind of girl and it worked i think maybe it would help if we knew the lyrics too because uh pop songs like these are very lyric focused it was a very good piece and she's a smart singer there were some effects of voice i also found that out but yeah what i will say yeah i i do really like this song my issue with a lot of polish music i might get canceled for saying this you guys are afraid to take a lot of risks so you have an idea but it always feels like it's copying an american idea with like a Polish spin on it, but it's never innovative, right? And I think this is actually um, indicative of Polish culture in general. It's very similar to East Asia as well. We're more collective when we try not to break out of the mold. Uh, so a lot of the songs that we heard is like, well, we're from America. So we've heard these, this song already probably done a lot better. So this is kind of like a toned down version of what we already know. Mm, um, I don't know. <laughs> in the middle of the song, I start to think what I have to do tomorrow. <laughs> I was worried. Eh? <laughs> that for me, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It's not that she sing bad. She has nice voice. It's like cute. He was cute. Yeah, Malovane, Belishme, Chostam, Chostam. But well, I swear, one moment I just, I just doze off. Like I guess it's not working on me this one. So I shouldn't be judged. <laughs> I shouldn't yeah. judge at all. So sometimes like, music tells you something. Yeah, no, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. But it was like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> it was catchy. Felt felt a little generic, but I appreciate her voice. I do appreciate the drone shots too. I love. Them. <laughs> yeah, I'll give her extra shots. point for that. Yeah. I think overall, probably one of the more pleasant songs to listen to from the list that we've listened to so far. So I do like her voice. It's like easy listening, but it's not anything like wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Even like you know, you said that like, you know, I like the fact that they did the TV disc like you know, in the middle of nature. It's it, nice. It seems like Masure could, or Barmia. They could. Yeah, it's in Masure. Yeah, ah. I wanted to say the viewer, but they could use uh, more line on the movement or something. They mineral water, like you know, it's like in the middle of water, and nothing really happened in this. Uh, and for me, nothing really happened. Also. In the song. In the song. That's why I was like somewhere else, like. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's where. Sana, I'm very sorry. You know, keep doing what you're doing and uh, ignore what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have the melody stuck in my head, so I guess yeah, yeah, exactly. it did the job. It's yeah. more catchy for sure than mm -hmm. yeah. It did not catch Eddie, but it, it catched me when I, when I stayed there, and I was like, a, like when you know, sometimes in the day you are going very fast to everything. You have a lot of meetings. You have to do your homework. You have to cook, and I feel that this song took me. Like, hey, listen watch, like digest what you're looking at it. Like, and by that reason, I guess it was kind of cool. I feel like kind of tranquility while listening to it. It managed to catch me, but from that point that I stays here, quiet, pay attention. So is it thumbs up or thumbs down for you this time? Barely thumbs up, but yeah. yeah. I would have to rank it higher than some of the other ones that I've given thumbs up to. Mm. So to be consistent, thumbs up. I'd probably give it thumbs up. Yeah, yeah for, for, me, me, it's, it's for me, it's like this, you know. Monsieur Moustache. This one's nice. Yeah. I love his voice. Actually. Mm. See, like this one has like the Wes Anderson kind of yeah. look to it, but there's a lot more movement. There's yeah, things right. going on. It's a, it's the one shot take. Is one take is pretty impressive. Yeah. 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 That's a great video, man. Epic mustache. <laughs> Is it a song about divorce? What did you say? I was like heartbreak and loss. Yeah, right. Yeah, like they sure. lost a kid or something, right? And or it seems like he's alone. It's like a bittersweet thing, though. Yes, yeah. that you know that. Yeah. yeah. 
Damn, piano's got dust on it. That's really sad. What is the death? Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. I thought you would be playing like we'll be hearing like. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I was also expecting that. Uh, anyway, that's oh, cool. I think it's my second favorite song of today. Yeah. That was the best one. 100%. Video so. yeah. or music? For me both. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was nice. nice. You know, I was like, and I like the fact that you know it was not totally a bridge, but they did some kind of uh, like you know for all the things that we listen to this, the only one that tried to did some kind of bridge, something like this. The yeah, rules. Well, yeah, the rules. Like you know, you're doing something in the compote, like you know. I well, see. so it was revolutionary not to use the bridge, <laughs> maybe at back at time. But now uh, people forget. But he, I try. They try to do. What's the name of this? Uh, bridge? Victor de Dua. Victor de Dua? That sounds French. It sounds it? French, actually. Victor de Dua. Oui, monsieur. <laughs> it's probably below the last one for me. I don't know. It's, it's a little sad. The, the video is cool because it's like one take and it kept going back from room to room. But yeah, it wasn't my cup of tea. I think music is subjective, right? So it's yeah, like, totally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's okay, man. You can like what you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. Melody, Armonichne. I kind of like it. The bass on this was nice. And I like the um, the video, uh, the clip, Teledis, like, you know, something like a uh, Rodine. Yeah, I, I felt it like human. And yeah. I, I felt it like necessary also. Like, it's home. Like an order to the family life that sometimes we do not appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You are here, but I also hear. Like, I hear as well. So, it, yeah, I, I like it. I really enjoyed it because the video and the song were worked together very well they were telling a story and then uh, i was like what's gonna happen next and the the shot where the dad was on the bed and he was stressing out with the kids playing was very poignant to me um and then i, I liked the song as well so to me it was like a nine out of ten so it made you feel something a hundred percent the song is definitely charming but I, I i will say also it's kind of a song that recognizes okay not everything is perfect but we are where the song oh, is cool. like, it's like, a very nice song it's a very nice song do you feel like the the yes, writer of the of, of the lyrics like felt it a bit like or, or the musician did a good work like placing yeah. it into music yeah this was the only video that actually told the story all the other videos like we're trying to like look cool fancy cars yeah. Yeah. party yeah and it just like didn't go anywhere this one you like along with the one shot takes spliced together you could feel what the dude was feeling with the bittersweet like yeah. just, like harmonies you could even see like the look on his face that there's some sort of like regret remorse like either he lost them for some whatever reason or he might not have been there he was like absent so at the end you saw like the kids alone with the mom and the kid just reluctantly going up and playing the piano and practicing he's almost like where's my dad yeah. right so like there are these you could even across language barriers we can understand what the totally. hell is going on yeah. yes that's one of the things that you said before like mm -hmm. people don't want to sing don't so they're using auto tune they just want to be famous actually but i think that this guy or those people they don't want to be uh, famous they want to make music and that's, that's beautiful. different. That's different. Even the melody was, I appreciated the music more because of the context and the visuals. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And also it was upbeat. And I, I, I kind of sometimes like those bittersweet like sounds as well. Yeah. You know, it's not totally sad, depressing, but it's like, you know what? He's like kind of making the best out of the situation. He's like learning the lesson. And yeah. I think that's kind of a lot of the part of life, right? The point of life. Too, yeah, so. it was very poignant video. It was a good yeah. song. It was a very good song. What's the name of the this song? Tam Słońce Gdzie My. Tam So like the song is where we are. That's a thumbs down. <laughs> That's a I one out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for us it's thumbs up. Then you can you want to do thumbs down? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course, two thumbs up. Like you know, I like it. I, I would classify this in in the category of necessary songs. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's a nice category, actually. Okay. So, do you think after w watching all these videos, will check out? Will you check out any of the other Polish music? Oh yeah, it's my job. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm more, I'm more curious now, like about some of the hip hop, maybe, and then the other song. Like yeah. Every country that I like to go, or every country that I've been, I like to understand the culture more, the people, the local experience, the yes. music, and yeah. like the scenes, and you know, feel like what it feels like to not just be a tourist in these places. So music is a yeah. big part of our experiences. You know, I'm. An audiophile and I definitely associate certain songs with certain places that I've been or moments in my life so yes of course for me after everything that went down for with my family in Colombia I feel I traveled a bit and I came to Poland and I feel like Poland became like my new home Getting like emotional right now it's crazy amazing <laughs> play that last song no, no. <laughs> um, but the more that I invest in the country the more I visit all the cities and I listen to the music the more I feel like connected with Poland, so that's why I enjoyed it a lot. So, yeah. Damn! Why? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Bro. No, I, I, I've only yeah. been here a week, but I understand what you mean. Bardzo dziękuję następującym patronom za wsparcie. Ekonomista Malarz, Mac, Tomasz Mac, Anna Klocek, 
Ela Podeszwa, Robert Marszałek, Klaudia Obacz, Zuzia Kania, Paweł Szymański, Walerian Walerian, Dorota Truskolaska Alibert, Rafał Szyderski, Patrycja Dupla, Piotr Wernicki, Natalia Gacia. Thank you. Oh, it was a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thank you too. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Hope to see you soon. Maybe next time you can have some Polish food. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> yes. No fish. No shit. <laughs>